So it's time to take a look at the two hottest graphics cards out there at the moment, the RX 480 and the GTX 1060, though what your definition of hot may be may be different to mine. Welcome to Tech City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with an overdue comparison of the GTX 1060 versus the RX 480. Now, without wasting any more of your time, let's get on with those benchmarks. So coming out of those benchmarks, we could see that the GTX 1060 did score a clear victory over the RX 480, though in some of those titles like Deus Ex Mankind, the RX 480 did score a victory over the GTX 1060. Also with that Vulcan benchmark in Doom, it was great to see that the RX 480 was getting some pretty decent gains when we switched over to the API there. I was gaining around about 15%, and this was with my benchmarks, which were all apples to apples in this video. So what about the actual cards themselves though? Yes, I am using the GTX 1060 Strix, which I believe does have a factory overclock out of the box. Though that being said, I did do both these cards to their max overclocks. And I did have that RX 480 cranked up with the fan speeds so temperatures wouldn't be an issue. Let's have a listen. So besides that horrid noise, I only managed to get an extra 70 megahertz out of the RX 480. It was a pretty bad overclocker. And the GTX 1060 I had around here too, that thing was pretty bad as well. I only scored an extra 100 megahertz on the overclock there. So both these cards were pretty bad overclockers and that showed in the results. Now let's talk about the price of these graphics cards. Both the 1060 and the RX 480 are coming in at around over $250. Now, in my opinion, this is a disappointing price level. I would like to see both these cards hanging around about $200, which is where I think they belong. I think after two years after the GTX 970 was released at $330, I think we kind of deserve it as tech enthusiasts to get these things under $200 if possible, or around that level. Considering that some of these cards are coming in around $280, even up to $300, I don't think you're getting much price performance there. Or even better yet, if you're into buying used parts like I am, you can go and pick up a GTX 970 or an R9 390 for around about $150 to $200. The one thing I will say about the GTX 1060 was when we switched over to DX11 to Vulkan and also DX12, we saw kind of reduced performance there, which was kind of an eye-opener since this uh, graphics card is meant to have DX12 support and it is supposedly meant to have asynchronous support. But what it boils down to with the GTX 1060 and the RX 480 is that they're both good cards. You can't go wrong with either, though I do think they are a little bit overpriced for what they are at the moment, even though I'm going to get that argument in the comments like, they're really good value for money. It's better value for money than the GTX 970, but... It's been two years, brothers. What are we waiting for as tech enthusiasts? We're just going to keep getting trickled out shit? I don't know, but you guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about both these graphics cards, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.